We want to stay with matters education in Kenya and Africa in general. Access to computerized or digital education is still a dream for millions of children. However, Kenya is championing the role of designing both hardware and software to suit children in both rural and urban areas. On this week's edition of Texpo, KTN's Joy Dorin Bira visited Brick, an ICT hardware company that has developed localized digital content for school-going children across Africa to allow them to learn, play and grow. <laughs> Kenya has positioned itself as one of the powerhouses of innovation on the African continent. The iHub in Kenya is making headway in proving that Africa can build problem-solving technologies for global use. Um, this M farm, but also went through the, the, the M lab, um, um, East Africa, that also now are mostly in Kenya, but uh, might have actually considered expanding outside of the country. Um, obviously, Brick started uh, out here um, as part of Ushahidi, but they're part of the larger ecosystem. Brick, being one of the latest technologies to come out of the iHub, is an ICT hardware company built out of the need to provide resilience in the face of disruptions. Uh, when you have a power cut, you want to be able to still be able to process payments. Uh, and you want to still be able to, to get data from your systems. Designed locally in Kenya by the engineering team, manufactured in the United States, tested and approved in Kenya, BRIC is arguably the perfect fit for Africa's hard conditions. So um, we've shipped to 47 countries and have gotten lots of pre-orders uh, of some of the, the newer work that we're working on right now. The BRIC, which Simply put, is a backup generator for internet users, is now complementing the latest technology the company has released, Brick Education Cure Kit, tablet-based digital classroom powered by the Brick, which in this case acts as a server and router for the content loaded on the tablets. Ilinu is uh, one of the startups that have come out of the iHub. And when they were testing the tablets where they have localized content for children, one of the headmasters at a nearby school in Dagoretti said, our problem is internet. And so we're, we were already working together with Ilinu to figure out how to solve for problems in the education field. When fully charged, the tablets give 8-hour uninterrupted usability and currently being disbursed with fully loaded content suitable for children. Children are not able to access any other information except that that has been uh, loaded onto the tablets, which is advantageous in that it saves children from access to destructive information uh, that can be accessed by any other internet service provider. And how affordable is it for schools, we ask? When it's priced at 5,000 US dollars, a school can purchase a whole kit, uh, which comes with 40 tablets, uh, 40 custom headphones, a brick, um, a brick pie, which provides the connectivity, uh, the computing, and uh, 40 tablets. With this whole kit, and it's put in a ruggedized plastic case that can be wheeled into a classroom. As the government of Kenya looks to digitize education for school-going children, the solution to the laptop project may not come from abroad, but from local innovators. Ultimately, moving manufacturing to Kenya of these kits and devices will help to lower the price of the tablets and the kit in general and also of the brick. These two technologies were designed in Nairobi and manufactured in the United States but have been specifically designed for hard to reach areas, say in an area where you're not able to access the internet. The brick saves you a lot of trouble. Joy Doreen Bira, Texpo.